Hi there, welcome to part two of this IEMA A07 Max teardown and review. Um, here you see I've uh, taken it apart. I took it apart a slightly different way to the way I took it apart in my first video, which I shall uh, post down there in the comments. Um, this time I actually removed the, the volume uh, pot pot, nut and washer here and uh, so that I didn't need to desolder the, the speaker terminals at the back I could have it sitting like that and I, I can actually use it like this uh, the only slight problem is there's a, a pin there a spring pin which connects to the case I think it's got to do with grounding or shielding so that's the only thing that's not connected but it doesn't affect it at all anyway these here are the two um, sockets that you would uh, normally upgrade the op amps um, left and right channel i believe that's the left and that's the right channel um, normally you would find it equipped with these which are any 5532s and these are excellent op amps they're industry standard very very good bang for buck quiet excellent slew rate they're very good and so this sounds pretty good with those in but can you improve upon that well I've tried about four or five different op amps in here and uh, I've actually got the best op amp to show you um, to put in here I've read a few reviews on these sort of things audio reviews and obviously sound quality is subjective I have a lot of experience in this area and um, I instead of saying oh comment in the comments which you think is the best I'm going to say which um, op amp I think is the best in here so I'm going to do that now now in the video that I will also link in the bottom there's a guy that's tested about 10 different op amps on these and he's got uh, high res audio for you to listen to online so you can actually listen for yourself um, which is the best sounding op amp and I did that I spent quite a few hours reviewing everything carefully reviewing he had some pretty wacky um, high cost op amps that he was trying out uh, one of which was uh, called Burson and it it was a op amp which actually stood upright so it wouldn't actually go into this case properly you'd have to modify the case to fit them but they're very expensive and I didn't think they were all that good either um, there's one that he reviewed that I thought was um, was the best and it was it's not that cheap but it's it's quite cost effective compared to the Burson's and the other ones he was reviewing it's pretty good I would say mid-range but I thought that that was excellent sound quality myself anyway what have I tried well obviously I tried the NE5532's that came with it and I, they're very very good the sound quality of these is very good um, he said in the video this guy that you could actually stack one NE332 on top of the other one to make a really really good sound quality but the drawback of that is that uh, they get quite hot. Now, I wouldn't advise um, that. I haven't tried it myself. I wouldn't advise on it because it's obviously drawing a lot more current and I wouldn't advise that. And anyway, what have I tried? Well, I've tried various in my parts drawer here. Um, I've got more as well. Uh, Burr Brown. This one here, OPA. 2134 tried a pair of those in here uh, and they were pretty good though um, I still prefer the NE5532 as the original so I didn't utilize them uh, I had some uh, LT um, op amps I'm not sure where they are but I tried them they were pretty good as well <clears throat> but they're very expensive and uh, they didn't um, sound much different to these in fact they didn't sound as good as these these are very good these uh, NE5532's the Burr Brown I think was um, slightly it wasn't it wasn't better than these anyway so so far the original 
any 5532s are winning. Then I came across these, which are analog devices, OP275s. I don't think these are that cheap anymore, but they did make a big difference over the any 5532s. These really do sound very good. Uh, they have a nice uh, warm bottom end. The base is pretty good. The treble is, is crisp and clear and a good mid-range. So this is a very, very good alternative. But this is my number two. The number one <clears throat> are these here. These I had to order online. They're not that easy to get. But it's the Oracle 02. These were what I thought to be probably the best or among the best in all uh, that was tested by this chap. That I'll try and post the video down there. They came in these little boxes and they have gold turn pin sockets here as well. These sockets that come with this are awful, awful quality. Uh, typical Chinese rubbish and... Um, the ICs don't fit in there very well. Also, poor quality is this. This is the, the phono jack at the back. I would recommend uh, changing that as well at some point for something decent because that is bad quality as well. Um, but apart from that, it's pretty good quality. So anyway, what I shall do, I shall take these oracles here, put them in. Now, very nice these they they seem to be cased in metal but if you look actually underneath you can see there's a printed circuit board there so these are probably something like brown dog adapters and there's a surface mounted op amp on the other side of this i'm not going to open this up to see what it is because that will um probably destroy this they've probably um glued it in and if you tamper with it you destroy these op amps so I'm not going to do that because um, you know they, they weren't that cheap these and they weren't that easy to get either I had to wait a while to get them I got them from overseas uh, I think it was uh, I can't remember the exact place I got it but I think it was a, a place in Germany that was um, uh, sort of specializing in boutique op amps I think you could get the Bursons from there as well, but as I said, the Bursons didn't sound to me to be better than these oracles. These oracles were really, really good, and they weren't sort of uh, out of the ballpark expensive. So anyway, here we go. Just carefully put these into these old sockets. I'm going to replace these sockets uh, after I end this video. Anyway, so it's all here, wired up. Let's see if I can demonstrate it to you. There we are. Very quiet. Right, I'm using my excellent uh, Note 10 here that I've had for many years. I've recently replaced it with the camera that I'm filming this on, which is the Samsung S23, and that is excellent as well, but my Note 10 I mean, is just brilliant. Anyway, I'm going to play a um, license-free music here so that I don't get any hits and let's see if it comes across over the audio how 